Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to my Premier League predictions. I know this is going to update is because tomorrow I will be doing a watch along for the Poland England game. So I thought I'd put this up a day early give you uh, guys a chance to view it. So anyway guys, let's get straight down to this video. So guys, you know what to do, give us a little big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to predict is Crystal Palace versus Spurs. Now, obviously, we've had the big international break and my England vlog that I did go to the England um, and all again will come up at the end of this video. So if you haven't seen it, stick around. I'll make it pop up at the end of this video. Anyway, back to the game itself. Crystal Palace. Um, I'm not sh quite sure how I started this season, if I'm being brutally honest with you. But you never know with the likes of football. Spurs... Underlanding management, probably just a little bit of a different kettle of fish. Uh, I think they actually won before the international break, but I'm not too sure whether they did or not. Don't harm me on that. Going forward to this game, I'm going to do a quick prediction, and I'm going to go with a 3 1 Spurs win. My next one is Arsenal versus Norwich. Arsenal are yet to score a goal this, se uh, this season and get any points. This game really is big for Arsenal. I thought I would say that if, even four years ago, but this game really is big. Arsenal currently sit at the bottom of the Premier League as well due to the goal difference between Norwich and Arsenal. I, I really am struggling for Arsenal. Bert Saka did score for England uh, against Andorra. Good at the bye, Bert Saka. Um, so, is that going to change the confidence of the squad? I, I don't know. I'll, I'll go let Arsenal fans shoot me down. I'll, I'll go, go for a Norwich win. I don't know why. But I think Norwich is going to go. I'm actually going to go for Arsenal. Also, but their ideas up, and let's not forget they did lose to Brentford at, on the opening day. So I'm going to go for a Norwich win, and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Norwich win. My next one is Brentford versus Brighton. Brighton did lose to Everton before the international break. It was at the MX, I couldn't go because I went well. Um, so if that's why you question why a vlog went up, that is why. Brentford do look like a real deal this season. I might have underestimated them in my table, uh, my probably prediction table earlier before the season kicked off. Brentford really do look like the real deal. This game's going to be really, really interesting as well. Uh, what way do I call it? I'm going to... I think I'm just about going to call it a draw and I'm going to call it a 1-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester versus Manchester City. Leicester, who, you know, yeah, again, a team I haven't really been watching this season. Uh, but we're still early, early in the season as well, so, you know, don't shoot me down too quickly. Um, but I'm going to go for a Man City win, I think, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Manchester City win. A lot of you might be saying it might be a bit higher, but, um, you know, I can't really see it, uh, but who knows. My next one is Manchester United versus Newcastle. Can Cristiano Ronaldo make his debut at Old Trafford against Newcastle? Cristiano Ronaldo really is a game changer in my book for Manchester United. It's going to be an interesting game, let's put it that way. But I think United will win it. But I'm just trying to, you know, sort of guess the result, which one here. You know, predicting it. Ronaldo's first game, 36, I think he is. Uh, I'm going to go I'm gonna go for a 3-1 Man United win for that one. 
My next one is Southampton versus West Ham. West Ham. I can't. I did watch a game of theirs this season. I can't remember who it was against. I think it was at London Stadium as well. Was it? Right, it's got to be before the international break. But what? Uh, oh, I wish I remember the team now. But I think I've watched them once this season already. They could do a proper real deal again West Ham this season. I ain't going to underestimate them. As far as Southampton goes, lights of losing Theo Wilcott, you know, uh, uh, who else? Danny Ings, they've lost this season. It's going to be a really interesting game, but I'm going to predict for a West Ham win, and I'm going to predict a 3 2 West Ham win. My next one is Watford versus Wolves. Watford, I know they won on the opening day. They lost to Brighton in the second week. I think they drew in the third week, I'm not too sure. But back at Vicarage Road, will I think Watford got, got go for this game, even at this early stage. I think they at least got to walk away with a point. I think a point for Watford in this game will be a good result for Watford. Got up against an OK Wolves side. Wolves to me ain't been the same since, you know, losing their manager to Tottenham. I will try for that today, but I don't want to get horribly wrong, so I'm not going to try. I'm going to... Uh, what way do I did this one? I'm going to predict a draw, I think, and I'm going to predict a 1 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Chelsea versus Aston Villa. Chelsea, obviously, to be look like the Royal Deal, I think they're sitting top of the table. They're top of the table, I know they're somewhere, you know, up top. It's going to be a really interesting game for Villa, how they're going to hold their own, you know, after losing. Jack Greenish, and to me, Villa have not been the same since losing Jack Greenish. I know you Villa fans might disagree, but if you know where I'm coming from, you know, but if you don't, then you don't. But I just don't think Villa have been the same. I think Villa have been really struggling uh, since losing Jack Greenish in the summer for 100 million. I'm going to go for a Chelsea win, and I'm going to go for a free. No, I'm not. I'm going to. Make that one more goal. I'm going to go for a 4 nil Chelsea win. My next one is Leagues versus Liverpool. Leagues, you know, having a brilliant season last season. Yet again, a team I haven't really sat down to watch as far as this season. I probably will watch this game live on Sunday, 4 8 kickoff. I'm, you know, Liverpool are going to want to make the real deal again. Are going to, are going to want to make, you know, t uh, title contenders. I think maybe a shock on this card, but I'm going to go for a swift draw, and I'm going to go for a two-two scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Everton versus Burnley. Everton, you know. Losing, I, no, yeah, no, no. They've gained um, Phil Wilcott, I think. He signed for Everton. I know Townsend did. Rafael Benitez, whole different cat of fish. I know, you know, a few Everton fans were a bit iffy about Rafael Benitez, you know, coming into the club. If you're an Everton fan, please feel free to put your, you know, comments down below how you feel about Rafael Benitez. In the blue tie on the side. Going up against an, oh, sort of a okay Burnley side, if you call it that. I'm going to go for an Everton win, no. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Everton win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big fuck on that you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for that.